Hello everybody, um, this is my modified and circuit bent Casio MT210 uh, Casio Tone uh, keyboard. I'm going to be selling this on eBay as well, so if you're watching this, hopefully this will demonstrate what this keyboard can do for you. Um, now this keyboard, what makes it interesting is it supposedly has, at least it sounds to me, analog hi-hats. So they're kind of gritty and, and you know, noise, white noisy sort of key, uh, sounds. The rest of the drums are all PCM sounds, so they're all samples. But what I've done to this particular keyboard is I've put a bunch of bend points here, which I can then uh, alter with alligator clips. I've got a few on the back as well, because I couldn't fit them all in. And then I have an exposed pot here where the three terminals of the pot are exposed so I can run a wire from one point to it and from the center lug to another point and be able to alter the amount of you know short circuiting that's happening there and then what I've got and most of these most of these focus on kind of drum oriented uh, circuit bends that was kind of fun I've got four switches over here which are aimed at the the synthesizer sort of sounds and glitching that out. So let me just give you a quick demo. Of course, this keyboard also has some interesting things. You've got four different bass sounds, four different accompanying chords that you can play. It's got the Casio accompaniment stuff, but you can also do fingered or, you know, basically the notes that you're actually playing. You can get some cool stuff out of that. Um, so that that's going on. You got uh, 20 different sounds here going on. You've got vibrato and a delayed vibrato, which kicks in after a short period of time. You've got sustain. It adds a, a release to the sound, and then reverb. Kind of the same type of thing. You've got stereo chorus, here's it off, and here it is on. And on the organ type stuff, you really hear it. Pretty awesome. And a little vibrato, too. I find that this keyboard has some pretty cool organ type sounds, things like that, of, of that nature. Now a couple of the bends over here, they just do various stuff and these are uh, center off and then you've got two switches on top of that, you know, up or down. So here's just a regular sound. Kind of get a distortion. For the non-sustained sounds, the sort of things that pluck and ring out, you get kind of these really cool gritty, you know, as, as the note's decaying, it's breaking apart. Especially if you add this sustain.
This adds a cool little attack to the sound. Here's without it. And with it. And these other ones kind of alter the tonality, give you a little bit of some of the overtones and things. So those, there's that, and I'll just go ahead and play with some of these other things here that we've got going on, and we'll see what happens. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I don't really have enough time to go through all the different permutations of what this thing can do, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can get out of this. Um, it's a pretty fun little keyboard, so, you know, hopefully you dig it. Cheers, have a good one, and if you're bidding on this, uh, good bidding. Thanks a lot. Bye.